No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Big Stock, videos and images for everyone. Color Grading Central, professional color grading with color finale. Shutterstock, where ideas take shape. Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. So I'm here with Apertus, and uh, we're going to be talking about the open source Axiom camera, but first we're going to talk about actually how the project got started originally as an open source camera. Yeah, that was eight years ago, um, eight years or more, yeah. And uh, it was, uh, we started with a, an existing open source camera. There was one existing open source camera that uh, provided, it was a multifunctional camera, so multi-purpose. So it was not meant for cinema, so it, we had to adapt it in many different ways, DIY-wise. The only logical, only choice we basically had was to start building our own hardware and uh, using a bigger chip at the time. That was still long before, or when the project started, this was long before any Canon DSLRs were shooting video. And yeah. there just was nothing on the market. They all did, all the big manufacturers still built camcorders, basically, with small chips. Right. and really small sensors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they yeah. just and didn't and understand yeah. that there was a need for anything Yeah, else. and even HDMI was, was quite very expensive at the time. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, yeah, it really started way back when, when it was really different. Oh. Right. So what we created is a system that uses off-the-shelf components and just interfaces the sensor in the simplest possible way to HDMI as real-time video output. And then we used an external recorder and just captured that. And this proof of concept was actually intended to just like work for a few weeks or just kind of toy everything together and glue everything together and just see that there's some output at all. But it worked so well, it's still working and uh, giving yeah. out images yeah, and we've over traveled the, all over the world we I traveled think yeah, all yeah. over the world and showed it around yeah. and uh, yeah. to Las, uh, Mexico Germany France yeah. and yeah. It's, it's essentially a computer basically with a basically, sensor yeah. 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 yeah you can say it an FPGA and uh, CPU combination right. that was the real time right. and then you can you can reprogram on the fly when you need to exactly right. And yeah, crowdfunding was so successful that we pre-sold over 500 units of the next generation, the Axiom Beta, which is meant as a kind of uh, early adopter development kit where the idea is to give this hardware into the hands of as many people as possible to kind of create a global uh, community that can improve and work on this to push it in the direction that we want to. And, and also in the crowdfunding campaign, you, have, you were offering different options for sensors. Yes. Currently what we have is the Super 35mm option, uh, the CMOSIS CMV 12000, it does 4K, Super 35, global shutter up to 300 frames per second in 4K, which is far more than we can currently output. But yeah, there, there are a lot of capabilities and in the future we'll try to push the camera as far as we can with those specs. There is also the 16mm uh, sensor option also from CMOSIS and the uh, uh, 4 thirds option from the Kodak Crew Sense now on CME. But unfortunately nobody wanted in crowdfunding because we asked people which sensor do you want and uh, the one that everybody wanted and everybody wanted for was the Super 35. Right. Uh, general electric design or the, the stack design of the PCBs is kept very modular. So if there's a new sensor, yeah, yeah, and yeah, there are new right. sensors coming out like... Uh, and obviously the, CMOSIS makes other sensors as well. Yeah, they have a larger sensor, a 5K full frame option for example. Uh, then we can just adapt this very first board and pretty much the rest of the camera can stay the same. Software will require modifications, but it will be very little effort compared to creating a new camera to just adapt for whatever sensor is available in the future, basically. Yeah. So what we provide, we don't claim that we know what everybody wants. We provide the foundation that works perfectly well over time and say, the last mile you can go yourself. We provide you all the documentation and the support you need to create the perfect camera for your project, basically. 